Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock, and I am back with Brain Trust Test Kitchen Experiment number 12. This one stems from myself, and um, to give you a bit of background, I got very, very lucky today's daily challenge. I was under the impression that a only a sentry would attack a probe. However, watching everybody else's videos, it seems it's quite apparent that it's not just sentries, it is a leaper as well. So yeah, I dodged a massive bullet and um, was really lucky that it was actually sentries and I didn't go blindly into rooms thinking um, that it was sentry, especially when we had to radiate the, the infestation to get the scrap today. I could have tried to radiate that and um, obviously leapers aren't affected by radiation. So I would have um, ended up in a big pickle at the end of the mission. Anyway, I digress. Um, I said on Jury's video, I wonder if there was a way to tell we're using probe which infestation it was based on their attack patterns because i'm pretty sure that um a leaper is kind of like a, an attack and then rest attack and rest and the sentry used its guns so it's just going to be a constant rate of fire so yeah this video is just going to basically showcase the two enemy infestations side by side attacking probes just so we can see the difference and um yeah let's uh, bring the video up shall we so on screen now guys, at the top left we have the sentry bot, the bottom right we have the leaper, and we're sending the probes into the infestation rooms to see what happens, and yes, as we can see, there are differing behaviours between the two, which should help us in the future to identify and be able to use probe to identify what uh, infestation we are dealing with. Focusing first on the sentry bot, as you'll see, as the, sen as the probe goes into the room, um, there is a slight delay before it starts to be attacked. Also, you'll notice in the console that there is a constant feed of a probe is being attacked, um, which goes through the uh, console. So almost sort of like as the sentry bot pulses its turret, um, each pulse is kind of registered by the probe as being attacked. Thirdly, you'll also notice that the probe constantly flashes. The, it's constantly being attacked, so it's constantly red. There is no let up in that whatsoever. Now, let's move on to the bottom window, where we can see the leaper attacking. First of all, we should note that the minute the probe enters that room, it is instantly attacked, which is expected, because that is leaper behavior. The minute you, end, you put a drone in there, the leaper does normally pounce on it. Secondly, in the console, you only get one notification that the probe is being attacked. When the leaper re-attacks the probe, because it doesn't kill it the first time, so when the leaper reattacks the probe, it doesn't give you a second notification that it is being attacked. Thirdly, because it's not constantly being attacked, the probe moves to the middle of the room. By the time it gets to the middle of the room, you'll notice that it turns green and it is no longer being attacked. So there is a break. That kind of it kind of it kind of doesn't make sense in a way that um, it doesn't constantly show in the console as being attacked because it is attacked twice whereas the sentry bot is constantly attacking the probe. So, although there is those weird anomalies there, it should help us in the future to identify using a probe which of the two infestation types you are dealing with. Hope you found this interesting, guys. Let me know what your thoughts and theories are below. Like I said, I got really lucky on today's daily challenge, and I could have come up against a leaper thinking it was a sentry, but um, luckily I didn't. Um, check out the rest of the test kitchen videos um link to the playlist is down below but until next time i've been knock you've been awesome happy gaming